And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. He spoke to who now? Moses. Amen. And said unto him, I am the Lord, and I appeared unto Abraham and Isaac and to Jacob by the name of God Almighty, but by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. He's not going to reveal himself the same way to everybody. Amen. Amen. And I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan and the land of their pilgrimage wherein they were strangers. You know, you could be a... Okay, Alma and Waycross ain't but so far. You can still be a stranger. Right. Yeah. Right. Y'all catching on. Yeah. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel whom the Egyptians keep, keep in bondage. God hears your cry. Amen. He hears you while you're bound. Yeah. He hears you while you're suffering and while you're in pain and while you're sick. This is all going into searching for that good thing. Amen. Right. And I have remembered my covenant. He didn't say he forgot. He said, I remember my covenant. Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out of, I will bring you out from under. See, we're underneath the enemy. The enemy is trying to hold us down. The enemy is trying to tie us down. The enemy is trying to block our minds. The enemy is trying to uh, uh, kill our finances, kill our loved ones. Amen. He said he will bring us from out from under the burdens of the Egyptian, and I will rid you out of their bondage. And I will redeem you with a I will redeem you with the stretched out arm and with great judgments. And I will take you to me for a people. He's going to claim you as his own. He's going to claim you as his own. And are y'all catching on what I'm saying? He's going to claim you as his own. And I will be to you a God. And ye shall know that I am the Lord your God, which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. And I will bring you in unto the land according to which I, talking about God, did swear to give it to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. It wasn't their time, but now it's your time. And I will give it to you for I, for an inheritance. I am the Lord. God at his word. God at his word. Look at somebody say, God is doing. God is doing. What he said he going to do. What he said he going to do. Now we have people in the day society where, again, where we're bound by different things. Uh, 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 Facebook. I can tell it. Facebook, I took mine down for a week. Amen. Half of y'all be on there more. Shh, Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Facebook has taken so many people's minds off of what they're supposed to be doing. Take try it for a week and get off and see how free you feel. Shut it down completely. Deactivate. If you, you if you ain't handling no business on there, ain't making no money. Why you on it? Why you on it? I got a business and I got a group, and that's why I use my network, and I still took it off. Because if it's not provided for you like God can provide for you, then why are you still active with something that's trying to deactivate you? Yeah. Now, we have a time where we are supposed to come and fellowship. Preach we're supposed to preach come preach. And, uh, 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 be together, a time where we're yeah. supposed to yeah. uh, uh, be free with one another, just yeah. to enjoy each other's company. But we can't do it because we got too many people trying to. Come on. People are trying to block us from having fellowship one to another. Yeah. If they don't like your pastor, they're going to talk about you to another pastor. If they don't like that pastor, they're going to talk right. about that one. When they find out you That's go to this true. church, they're going to talk about your church. Right. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Amen. The word just said that you will see God for himself. Yeah. <laughs> You will see God for himself. You ain't got to even stand up and say, well, I know my pastor real. You ain't got to say it. In Isaiah, what well, we was just at, Isaiah the 
43rd chapter said, people of Israel, you are my witnesses. He's using us as witnesses on tonight. He's using you as witnesses on Tuesday night. He used you as witnesses on Thursdays and Fridays or Saturdays when you go out to singers or, or Sunday mornings when you go to your church. He's using you as a witness. He said, I chose you. Point to yourself and say, he chose me. He chose me. To be my servant so that you would know me and believe in me. See, we are bound by uh, uh, doctrine and we're bound by uh, uh, philosophy and all this stuff. We are bound by things that people want to make us sound just too good. Amen. Only thing I know that God made just so perfect was Jesus. Amen. And he was struggling himself. And he still made it on the other side. Amen. So none of us in here perfect. Look at somebody say, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. But I'm seeking perfection. But I'm seeking perfection. Now I'm going to clear that, clear that up. We can be perfect in some things. If you are addicted to crack and you're not doing crack no more and you don't have a taste for crack no more, you have perfected that part of your life. Yeah, come on. If you were suffering with cancer, those that oh, suffer with cancer, oh, and you conquered it yeah. because of God and it never came back, yeah. you have perfected that sickness. Yeah. So that means you can go back. See, some people still have those sicknesses and think that, that God healed them or they still have those addictions and think that God that healed them from. But the thing is, though, that they still have hidden. Yeah. It still be hidden. And then when they try to go back and help somebody, the next day they know, they cursed with it again. Yeah. Because they never broke free of free burners. Amen. So for us to be truly free, we have to commit ourselves and give ourselves time to God. Amen. And look at somebody say, I want to be truly free. I want to be truly free. Now, some of us ain't delivered from Facebook. Yeah. Facebook, if you got the government using Facebook, you know there's a problem. If the government is partaking in something that normal people are partaking in, because Facebook was not that big about seven, eight years ago. Now it's a wild thing. Billions and billions and billions of people. Chinese folk, African folk, Japanese folk, all these different folk are using the same network. Am I correct? Well, yeah, you right, preacher. And then the Christians are getting on there, and we fighting one another, fussing at one of each other. You ain't cussing them out in public, but you get on Facebook and act like you're a big dog and cuss them out on Facebook. So you are bound. Those that was here last night know we talked about the Chinese restaurants and all the different, going to those different uh, uh, nationality restaurants and stuff like that. Uh, 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 they have different ways to draw you in. Some of y'all don't even know why they got goldfish in the, in, the, in the restaurant. You don't know, some of you don't know why they got the pictures of the fish circling around in there. Y'all just go and sit in there and just sit in a beat up about seven times in a week. I know I can talk about it because I, I need to get delivered from it. Amen. All right. I go to a Chinese restaurant. That's, that's all they pick at me and say, Are you, you going to eat pizza or Chinese? That's about all he's going to eat. <laughs> Amen. But see, I have more common sense, and I know these prophets and elders and everyone here got more common sense to know what to eat, when to eat, and how to talk, and when to talk. Amen. Amen. Well, yes. Now, a lot of people don't understand that we are bound. Our, sister, our own sisters and brothers can bound us. A marriage can bound you. Oh, yes. If you ain't strong enough to fight those demons that your new spouse or the new husband got, then you got a problem. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. That might not be the one that you're supposed to be with. You got a problem. Because if you can't handle the demons that he got in, and he can't handle the demons that you got, you better listen. Y'all ain't on the same tree. Y'all got a problem. You got a big problem. Somebody got to do some fixing. You don't got somebody else's good thing. Amen. Yesterday we talked about a good thing don't have to be just a husband or wife. It could just be by living. Yeah. By God allowing your heart to beat. Amen. And allowing your mind to be used. Amen. Amen. We're going to go to uh, Matthew, the ninth chapter, and this is where we're going to get our full basis on tonight. Amen. 
God is good. Amen? Yes. 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 And we're going to talk about Jesus, how he healed the paralyzed man. Amen? Amen. Yes. See, a lot of us, as a matter of fact, I'm going to just say everybody in here got some form of sickness they got going on. If it's some type of allergy, amen, or arthritis, often don't got you, or, or whatever. Everybody has got some type of form of sickness. If you, who, who all had chicken pox in here? Who all had chicken pox? Raise your hand high. You had chicken pox. Raise your hand high. Okay, everybody that has chicken pox in here has a strand for shingles on their spine. That's right. You ain't got to be old to get shingles. You ain't got to be, you ain't got to be crippled up to get shingles. Amen. It's in you. Cancer is in you. You been drinking, how many of y'all drink the water, right? <laughs> drink y'all water. Oh, Lord. <laughs> how many of y'all use the plastic bottles to drink water out of? Oh, yeah, all of them. Yeah. They found out that that was a main cause why people was getting to cancer. Because of the bottle from which the water was put into. Amen. Y'all better watch your news. Amen. So now the only way we can get here, unless we come to church, we got to come at least come into the hospital. The wait time ain't that long. It's on you how you want your wait time. That's good teaching. Now if we come into the house of God, which is the hospital, that means that we can see a physician that can help us. Amen. A physician that can heal us from our problems. Amen. God and His Word. Amen. Yeah. It says in the ninth chapter, starting at the first verse, that Jesus got into the boat and went back across the lake to see his own town. Where well, some people brought to him a paralyzed man, lying on a bed. When Jesus saw how much faith they had, he said to the paralyzed man, in this Bible here, it says, Courage, my son, your sins are forgiven. Then some teachers of the law said to themselves, this man is speaking blasphemy. Now, I know that if God heals my body and I go back and get the report, there ain't no devil on earth going to tell me that my God ain't do what he was supposed to do. Yes. There's nobody going to be able to convince me that because I got delivered, now people going to talk about your past. Now, we're going to go to past history now. People gonna talk about 